Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Perlin 2 aircraft joins the Iridium network, FAA issues first batch of 5G NOTAMs, Virgin Orbit scores again. Hi, I'm your host Holland Lee. Welcome to Airborne Unlimited. Let's get into today's stories. Perlin 2 aircraft joins the Iridium network. Thales and Iridium have joined the infamous ultra-high-altitude Perlin Continuous Flight Program. The engineless glider can now avail itself of the Iridium Communications Network, offering the world's highest internet hotspot at more than 65,000 feet. Perlin will use their newfound connectivity for in-flight communications, as well as live streaming from both the glider and its egret super tow plane. Due to pandemic restrictions around the world, the team was unable to travel to Argentina recently as planned. However, the downtime was well spent completing the installation of the Thales FlightLink equipment in late 2021. Quote, we look forward to Perlin 2 carrying the Thales logo as well as one of the company's most cutting-edge communication solutions to even greater heights, says Ed Warnock, CEO of the Perlin Project. Quote, we are delighted to support Airbus Perlin Mission 2 because we believe the project aligns with Thales' own strategies for future greener aviation and the environment, end quote says Mark Duval Destin, the Vice President of Strategy, Product Policy, and Innovation for Thales Flight Avionics Activities. Quote, we hope the live stream will encourage a new generation of young people to consider careers in aerospace, science, and engineering, end quote. After the break, Super Bowl Notams published. Skyleader Aircraft offers a lineup of the most powerful, durable, and efficient light sport aircraft in the industry. From trainers to roomy cockpits for long hauls, Skyleader has an aircraft for you. And the best part? They're in your budget. Skyleader's base prices are set low to give you room to customize your aircraft to your needs, desires, and wallet, allowing you to put your money where it matters to you most. Visit flyskyleader.com today to learn about our aircraft, customization options, and chat with the team. At Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. Well, hello, fellow pilot. I'm John King. And I'm Martha King. You know, we've all had our flying lives disrupted lately. Well, King Schools is here to help you stay up to date with courses that you can access on your desktop, iPad, or iPhone. If you'd like a refresher or just want to expand your aviation horizons, we have a course for you. So head over to kingschools.com slant rusty today for details. Welcome back. Let's take a trip around the patch for some other interesting stories. Super Bowl flight requirements released. General Aviation pilots hoping to fly into Los Angeles from February 6th to the 14th will be required to follow special air traffic procedures put into action with the Super Bowl occurring in the vicinity. The new notice publication was accompanied by familiarization aids from the FAA showing a few LA area airports on video. Pilots can see the actual runway approach, taxi procedures, and more with on-screen graphics and visuals to identify hotspots and other safety-sensitive issues ahead of their trip. Piper adds MSU to Influencer Program Piper Aircraft has announced the extension of their brand ambassador program, this time opening at Minnesota State University at Mankato. Those selected to be Piper ambassadors advertise Piper products through the publication of updates and posts along their pilot training experience. The program was jointly offered in collaboration with the university as an affordable, interactive way to showcase Piper's portfolio of flight training products and MNSU's educational offerings for prospective pilots. Boeing's fourth quarter deliveries released. Boeing announced its major program deliveries over 2021, with the company bouncing back to deliver 340 aircraft throughout the year. The announcement saw shares in Boeing rise by 2% after its order book was scrutinized, revealing 535 net orders after performing the requisite accounting voodoo. Boeing had a surprising year in 2021, better than many expected, following the prior year full of lockdowns and closures. Boeing still trailed behind its arch-rival Airbus, receiving 479 orders to their 507 after cancellations. National Aeronautic Association opens Collier nominations. 
The NAA is now accepting nominations for their Robert J. Collier Trophy, an interesting award meant to bring attention to the real-world effective aeronautical advancements made over the preceding year. The trophy will be presented in June at a formal NAA dinner celebrating the event. Recent winners including the Boeing X-37B team, the inventors of the F-35's Auto GCS team, Blue Origin's New Shepard, and NASA's JPL. Well, that's it for today's trip around the patch. Let's return to the rest of the news. FAA issues first batch of 5G NOTAMs. The FAA has published its first round of notices to air missions regarding the soon-to-be-activated 5G cell networks, placing warnings over 1,462 airports in an effort to ease the industry into a post-5G world with minimal issue. The restrictions put into place warn that radio altimators are unreliable and not authorized for use unless equipped with approved, alternative methods of compliance. Nearly 1,500 of the warnings were published overnight to airports throughout the United States, primarily located at public-use airports within 42 miles of 46 metropolitan test markets for the country's biggest cell network operators. Verizon and T-Mobile will continue to expand their networks as data-hungry consumers require ever better performances from their devices. The problem as it stands won't go away anytime soon, notes the NBAA. What effect the networks will have on the industry, if any, won't be apparent until they go into effect tomorrow, January 19th. The change may not be fully apparent until the affected airports are socked in with low visibility weather and incoming flights cannot rely on their automation to do the demanding job of IFR approaches. After these messages, Virgin Orbit scores again. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at AviationSafetyResources.com. If it looks good, it usually flies good. The Bristel series of aircraft is proof of that. Furthering their legacy of safety and efficiency, Bristel is proud to feature the Rotax 915 IS Turbo in the current lineup of aircraft. The 915 IS Turbo power plant offers more power than ever before in a light sport aircraft. Learn more about Bristel at www.sportflyingusa.com. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back. Virgin Orbit scores again. Virgin Orbit confirmed it successfully deployed into orbit all seven customer satellites aboard its Launcher 1 rocket during its Above the Clouds mission. Virgin Orbit's 747 carrier aircraft named Cosmic Girl took off from the Mojave Air and Space Port on January 13th at approximately 1.40 p.m. and flew to a launch site over the Pacific Ocean about 50 miles south of the Channel Islands. After a smooth release from the aircraft, the Launcher 1 rocket ignited and propelled itself towards space ultimately deploying its payload into a precise target orbit approximately 500 kilometers above the Earth's surface, inclined 45 degrees to the equator. This is the first time this orbit has been reached from the west coast. The launch was the company's third successful flight, occurring less than one year from its first mission. Virgin Orbit has now successfully delivered commercial, government, international, and national security satellites to space. The satellites launched on the company's latest mission include experiments in space-to-space -space communications, space debris detection, and in-space navigation and propulsion, as well as satellites that will serve the global agricultural sector. The launch brings the total number of satellites launched by Virgin Orbit to 26. Well, that's our program for today. You can catch episodes of Airborne on YouTube, Roku, and Fire TV. Just search for Aero News or Airborne. And don't forget to follow us on social media. Thanks for watching.